Hi, it's Jan with some more moments from the mountain. Now I live in a very rural part of northern Tuscany in Italy and I love all things fibre, sewing, painting, music and so much more. So today I'm going to give you a spinning and weaving and knitting update as well as something new. Now I have got an old sewing machine that I've had for many years. It's been down in the cellar gathering dust, but I've decided to bring it up and clean it and give it the once over because I've decided that I would like to start making my own clothes. I've decided to do this because I have not been able to find any clothes that I particularly like in a style that suits me particularly well. I have got trouble with the fitting. Even with thrifted clothes, they are at least a better quality, the ones I've been able to find, than many that you can buy um, in fast fashion shops. But I just have been so dissatisfied that I haven't been able to find clothes that I have really wanted, that I have really been what I consider to be my style. I haven't been able to find any for a long time. So, as I like natural fibres as well, I have decided to sew my own clothes. Hopefully, I will be able to sew clothes that are going to last, and I do not want to be changing my wardrobe every five minutes. If something suits me really well, I'm going to enjoy what hopefully I'll be able to wear the clothes for many years. Now I do have some sewing experience. I actually learned at school, we all had to learn sewing, even the boys. And I also used to make some little dresses for my daughters when they were young, as well as some frocks for myself some years ago. Now the last time I actually used my sewing machine for anything other than to just hem a pair of jeans was to make myself a little dress about 10 years ago. So um, I feel as though I'm almost back to square one with sewing. I, I do have some experience. I do have the knowledge I was taught at school, but I've been following some videos on YouTube and there are some new techniques that may be useful. Many of them have stayed the same but I'm quite excited in being able to start. I went to visit my mom recently in Britain and while I was there, I bought myself some fabric. I found some online and while they deliver to Italy, I thought as the, the company was British, that the delivery would be quicker to my mum's. I didn't want to have to wait, I just wanted to see the quality of the fabric that I bought. I just, well you'll see later in the video, if you, if you keep watching you'll see later in the video, I bought two pieces of fabric. So keep watching please. The sewing machine doesn't seem to be too bad. I did find that one of the prongs that holds a reel of thread had gone into the machine, so I'm just starting to take it apart. This part mainly because the bulb has gone, so I need to find a new bulb. Just, I found a brush. It wasn't the brush that came with my sewing machine. I can't remember if one did come with it to be honest, but this brush is just small enough just for me to brush out all the bits of dust that form when the thread runs through. There's my bulb. I'll source one on Amazon I think. Should be quite easy. I've got the side off now and I can have a look inside better. I've restored the prong there that had gone inside the machine so that looks fine. 
and the machine doesn't look particularly dusty inside although it will need oiling um, but that's going to have to be sometime in the future because I can't remember where I've put my bottle of oil I may have to buy another bottle but it all looks quite good so far Well, I've put it back together again and I just need to plug in and give it a test. Got my pedal ready. Plug in. Attach the wire. Switch on. Isn't it nerve wracking? And it goes, I'm so happy. So that's my test done. I'm really pleased. That was a, an hour's work. Well done. I washed the cover. So the cover is now nice and clean. With a couple of little marks that won't wash out, but I can live with that. I have been looking around my studio and I think it needs a bit of a tidy. Um, that will be the subject of a future video, I think. I've been painting, I've nearly finished another botanical watercolour for my living room to go with the other one and then I'll need to paint another one so I've got my three set. Anyway, I am going to show you what I've been weaving. In my last video you saw I had on the loom this scarf. Now then, I finished it. I'm very pleased with the way it turned out and it's very very cosy. I did run out of brown so I just finished in orange. This is all experimental and learning so if this is for me it's not going out of the house. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'll show you a little bit later on perhaps I'll cut in. Um, some pictures. Um, I don't know if to do a short or a long fringe on this. Please let me know in the comments below what you would do. This, there's a couple of errors here. Oh and I wasn't concentrating and by the time I noticed them I was too far ahead of myself so I just thought it's only for me. I don't mind. It's crumbs. I can't remember whether it's my third project or my fourth one. But anyway. It's so cosy. I have wrapped it around my shoulders just to try it out and it's super warm and it's just for me. So I'm very pleased with that. This is what I've got on my loom at the moment. It's a sparkly evening stole. And again, it's just from my stash. I'm hoping to get it finished before I go to Milan to see a show there. This is my side project, my knitting update. Now, I'm sure you're all saying it's taken her ages to do this and it really has taken me a long time and much longer than I thought. I thought I'd be just a couple of weeks and it would be done. But, <clears throat> sorry about my throat. Um, because I didn't spin enough yarn initially, I've had to spin more yarn so that I can continue. And um, so it slowed me down because I spin in the grease, then I have to wash the finished yarn and then it takes a while to dry. But anyway, we get there in the end. But here it is and it has got the effect I wanted down the front, which is, it is in actual fact a very soft cable. But it can give on either, either a ripply effect or a knotty effect depending on the angle that you're looking at it and it's just what I wanted to break up the um, the knit because it's a plain knit so the cable the soft cable at the front gives it a little bit of interest so that's coming on quite nicely and more of an update next time along with my evening stole I wanted to show you the fabric that I bought when I visited my mum in uh, Britain just recently. I just got some cotton, cotton poplin, I think it was printed cotton, 
I have got a pattern from a long time ago that I've already made in the past into a dress and I know it's the wrong time of year but I'm making a couple of summer frocks. Now this is very insipid on camera but it's a kind of a beigey colour, dark beige with turquoise and it doesn't hasn't really filmed very well but it's really nice. I've already washed these pieces of cotton and I basically need to iron them and I'm ready to go. This is a lovely golden yellow printed cotton again. I'm choosing cotton because I like natural fibres. I don't want to do anything in viscose. This is another reason for making my own clothes. Viscose um, is not really, it's natural, but there are chemicals. It's a very chemical heavy process to actually produce viscose. So it's not as natural as I would like it to be. That's my choice. Plus the chemicals that they use in the process for making viscose is causing health problems with the workers who actually produce it and I don't want to support anything like that. They don't seem to have many rights and I think birth defects have been recorded in the workers' children. I don't want to do to do any sewing in viscose if I can help it. I'm going to make a, a strong effort not to use viscose um, and just stick with cotton or wool. Anyway, a spinning update in all updates today. These are all the things I've been spinning. This is yarn waiting to be washed. This is a spun yarn for my side project that you've just seen. That's the colour of it before it's washed. This is a merino type wool spun in a two ply with some silk. I add silk to it and it's very soft. I've got quite a bit of this and this is the silk that I've actually been using. It's airy silk and this type of silk allows the moth to fly out of the cocoon before the cocoon is harvested. It's not in one continuous line like other silks because the moth has escaped and is, is free to go. It's 100 grams and it should last me quite a while. What I do is I card it with um, the merino wool that I have here. This is not carded yet and it's washed but what I do also is I kind of pull it apart and shred it a little bit and fluff it out before I card it with the silk and it seems to make the job a lot easier. This is a single that I um, spun some time ago trying to emulate a luxury yarn that my daughter was given uh, which was bought in France, in Paris, in France. This is what's left in my bag of merino and I have another bag absolutely stuffed with this uh, fibre to be carded as well. So I'm going to have quite a lot of this when I've got through it all. So there we have it, from the fluff to the finished yarn. Thank you for watching my video today. Please like and subscribe to my channel which will help it grow so I can bring you lots more content. Please hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to hear about my new videos when they're released. See you next time.